welcome to your weekly reading. We are looking at the week of November 26th through to December 2nd. So let's see what the energy is for the week ahead for all of you. I'm going to start here with the Healing with the Angels card and then grab some tarot as well for your weekly reading. So let's see what the messages are for the week ahead. I also have the Dreaming Way Tarot that I will be using, let's see, the week ahead, November 26th through December 2nd. What is the message for all of us connecting with this reading here for the week ahead? All right, so one, two, three. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we have meditation energy. So I wonder if some of you are kind of maybe removing yourself from situations, maybe trying to take a time out, maybe for self-care. Meditation is a part of self-care. It's about going inward, trying to maybe get in contact with your higher self. Maybe you need answers this week in some way. This is what this is giving me. But there's a need to kind of like just isolate a little bit. And I know that the holidays are coming up. So for some of you, you might have family gatherings and it might just be a lot of peopling right this week. And you might decide that, okay, I've had enough of interacting, right? And being extroverted. Now it's time to kind of go inward and replenish and recharge my batteries now that I've gotten the peopling out of the way. So that definitely is an energy of kind of taking a time out from people, places, and things, maybe after the hustle and bustle of the week. So let's see. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles. We also have, ah, wow, the Devil energy. And we have the Nine of Swords. So hmm, if it's not that you've had a busy, crazy week around too many people, you could have had a, a week full of being surrounded by negative energies, okay? And I say that because the devil energy in the Nine of Swords, it can be that of overworked, especially with the devil card, stressed the heck out with the Nine of Swords. And you know what? Holiday season is coming up. That is, that is definitely energy of being, you know, overwhelmed and it can stress you out especially if your budget is tight. And I say that with the six of pentacles and the devil energy, it's like, how am I going to buy Christmas presents and pay my bills? You know, this is the reality of the world we live in right now. So I feel like some of you are trying to reconsider your spending this week, what you're spending on, maybe re-budget, right? If there are constraints, and I say constraints because of the devil energy and the six of pentacles, so I would say that's practical, right? Because Capricorn energy of the devil is trying to take a, a practical approach and overhaul possibly of your finances or of your earthly living situation. Six of Pentacles is trying to find the happy balance between all of these things, between sometimes the earthly and the spiritual maybe between happy balance between work and play. It can't be all work and no play either. And it can't be pinch, 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 and you know, no pleasure either, no, no, no fun or... Sometimes the pinch can keep us from overindulging, yes, but sometimes we need to, to do the little things as well that make us happy, you know? So I think there's this feeling of this week just trying to find the happy balance between work and play, self-care, and spending time with others. Also, maybe trying to find the happy medium or balance within your, your finances this week as well uh, without stressing yourself the heck out with the Nine of Swords. There's some kind of limitation, constriction, or feeling of being overworked or overwhelmed this week. So I feel that if you are feeling overworked and overwhelmed, please take time out for self-care with that meditative energy because that's super important. Self-care is never selfish. So take the time that you need to kind of get rid of the energies that are 
plaguing you or bothering you or creating a uh, icky feeling okay is is that so you might you might end up encountering that as well um if you need to remove yourself this week from toxic situations maybe work situations or let's just say for instance you're around family you don't get along with or something like that maybe with the six of pentacles the advice is for situations like that to you know just try to take a diplomatic approach right when it comes to these people in your environment do what you have to do to get through right the week six of pentacles is again diplomacy and it is definitely about just you know keeping it keeping a balance approach harmonious approach be the bigger person if you have to this week with the six of pentacles even though you might have people with the devil and the nine of swords that get on your nerves um, just don't let them live <laughs> with the nine of swords don't let them live rent free in your head because it's never worth it if you have to remove yourself to kind of keep the peace or to kind of decompress with the meditation energy please do that because you deserve to you know keep your peace and also this week don't let anything disrupt your peace is also advice here but the feeling is here just trying to keep a happy balance even though there are some challenges with the devil card or some feelings of, of complication limitation or restriction going on in your life at this time it could be with work money it could be around um being overworked and and not having enough time to even play you know make sure you take time out to nurture your inner child find your peace find your joy find your bliss any way that you can don't limit yourself so much also is the advice here with the devil card that it steals your joy completely this week whatever the situation or scenario may be the nine of swords is saying don't let it get to you don't let it get in your head or get you to a point of overthinking or you stress yourself out. You cause sleepless nights, anxiety or anything like that because at the end of the day, it's not worth it. If you have to calm, calm the intrusive thinking with the Nine of Swords with some meditation or a quiet timeout, please give yourself that, right? Because you deserve that for one. If you need to kind of cut away from people, places and things that cause you that energy this week, please make sure you also listen to your body because sometimes the i guess the intuitive promptings that we get intuitive nudges that we get try to speak to us through our body and this is also saying to listen to that because that's super important only you know what how much you can take right and sometimes your your intuitive self your higher self knows where your limit is capped right and the feeling is, okay, that's enough. Enough is enough. So catch yourself, right? Listen to your body because your intuition is trying to speak through your body, whether it be through gut feeling, whether it be through the hair standing on end, right, on your arm or the tension you might feel in your head or uh, goosebumps, right? Your body tries to speak to you in different ways. It's really your intuition giving the signal. So try to listen to those signals in your body this week if anything's you know, if you're you're pushing your limits, try try to pull back so you don't get tipped over the edge this week because it look looks like you might find yourself with the devil energy in a stressful situation and with the nine of swords in a stressful situation, whether that be around work with the six of pentacles, people, places, and things. And if something is not in alignment, your body's gonna let you know. The thing is we tend to ignore our body a lot. Um, so this is saying to re be mindful of that. If something is out of balance, if there's a situation at work with the Six of Pentacles and the Devil card that maybe isn't fair, this is this meditative energy is asking for you to really think something through because with the Six of Pentacles, you know what feels fair to you and what what you deserve right in that sense because you want an equal give and take situation if there's anything that's not an equal give and take situation this week give yourself a time out to think it through so that way you can you can understand how you want to proceed with the situation i kind of do want to take another card because i feel like there's some stress going on 
um, this week. And it, it might not even have anything to do with you. It could just be your environment. It could be other people around you that are causing you this strife um, and restriction or limitation in some way. It, it may, with the Six of Pentacles, have to do with, with money or budgeting or work or family, possibly. See, Six of Pentacles is definitely about sometimes, you know, other people. It's an energy of reciprocity, equal give and take. And when it comes to relationships, that's, you know, the goal. But there are some situations where they're not like that. It's not balanced. It's not fair. It's not equal. Um, I think some of you, when you're, if you're encountering something like that this week, you're going to have to think about it. Um, but the feeling is here not to let it stress you out because nothing is worth all that you know what i mean yeah i mean you nine of wands is just i feel like that energy of being at your wits end with something or someone um or feeling like uh i'm i'm so done i'm so tired of whatever that is or whatever the situation with the devil energy and the nine of swords that's causing you that and it's this feeling of with the Nine of Wands energy of, you know, warrior energy being, you know, battered, beaten, bruised, you know, having been through the war and back again. And it's like, oh, how much more can I take of this crap, you know? <laughs> so it could be just one of those crazy weeks that you're just feeling overwhelmed. And some of you just might have a lot on your plate, a lot of work going on. And I feel that coming from the Devil Energy and Nine of Swords. Um, so it's like, don't burden yourself to the point where it causes you this energy, right? Because we do have two nines. Um, it kind of feels like this week something's got to go and you're done. You're kind of over it. You're tired of it. You, you just, you're just not feeling it anymore. And again, the feeling is if you get to that point, listen to that. You know, sometimes we ignore ourselves um, and give more attention to the things outside of us when our heart, a higher self, already knows what it needs to do. And you deserve balance, alignment, and harmony in your life at this time. And if there's anything that's causing you this stress or making you feel like you just can't anymore, then this is kind of a, a heads up and a cue, right? A, like a, a cue from, from spirit or a clue from spirit that it's time to make adjustments that are more harmonious and in alignment to you because when something's not working out it's going to cause this you see it's going to get to this point and you don't want to be tipped over the edge and start spiraling because we do have you know a nine of swords here we do have a nine of wands here and you know the next step is it's like the ten of wands and then you have the ten of swords it's like you know there's this feeling of it being preventative right and I know this is this is sounding like a shitty week. I'm just gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? Um, because of the cards on the table, and but I have to keep it real. You know, the cards are what they are, and the feeling is, you know, you do have you do have control, even though some things with the devil might seem out of your control. You do have control over how you react to things, right? And. The meditation energy is saying, you know what, take the higher ground because it's not worth it. Whoever that is that's stressing you the hell out, if there's a toxic energy around you at work or something this week, it's not worth your energy. And I think this is just giving you a clue or a heads up that, you know, if people like that surround you this week, the best option is just to not give it your energy. Because, again... You deserve better, you have value, and um, you know your worth at the end of the day. So make sure that your response acknowledges that, right? Or the way that you react or the way you choose to handle the situation always is in alignment with your worth. Because that Six of Pentacles is saying you deserve better than maybe the shit that you're dealing with this week, right? Right? Also, uh, devil energy could say it's time to release yourself from something that's not working. This might be the week that you really, you know, sit through or sit, sit with it, with the meditation energy and consider what's the best 
move forward because i say that why because the nines on the table are signaling a they're heading in the direction of a completion something's coming to a, a head it's, it's coming to a close the nine is is that moment right before shit hits the fan right so the, their feel it could feel like this week there's something that breaks the camel's back like the straw right the final straw that breaks the camel's back you're gonna have to sit with something think it through and say okay i'm done nine of wands is giving me the vibe of i'm 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 at my wit's end here i'm i'm done with this shit so yeah not the week that i was expecting guys um <laughs> considering you know there's there's holidays coming up and everything like that but you just might feel this week that you know what? i can't deal i can't deal with family or i can't deal with all the hustle bustle of shopping and you know the holiday season or maybe your job is asking you this week to do overtime you know what i'm saying and it's like oh heck no you know holidays are here i'm trying to spend time with my family i cannot be working overworking myself i just don't have that kind of energy to give you know there's a lot of different scenarios that i feel are coming from this and only you're going to know what, what is stressing you out this week. But this is just, if anything, I think this weekly reading is giving advice to a lot of you that could be feeling this. Uh, feeling the pinch or the stress in whatever area of your life. You could come across stressful situations. You could come across people demanding of your time and energy, especially with the Six of Pentacles and the Devil. And it's like, you know what? I just don't got it. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't have time for it. And I need to kind of like back off or back away. Your job could be asking you to put in more hours right, you know, around the holiday season. That's something to consider. But again, the advice is to put yourself first. Okay, I do want to grab one. Whoa, okay, I said I wanted to grab another card and this fell out. Okay, let's see. Yeah, whoa, okay. So do you see what I'm saying here? Retreat. Yeah, very much in line with the meditation card. This is saying to take a step back from anything or anyone that is stealing your joy or robbing you of your peace this week. It is not worth it. Um, so I think what this is saying this week is the focal energy should be you. You're the focal point. Put yourself first this week. Nothing matters more than you right now. And again, to listen to your body um, as much as you can. Calm your mind you know, decompress where you have to, where you need to take a step back, retreat, because it ain't, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, let's see if we can get a card here. Final Oracle for this weekly message. Let's see. And try to get also, nine of swords, try to get some good sleep, okay, this week, if you can, because that'll help you as well. Recover from an, a stressful week ahead. Um, it'll calm your mind, you know, your body needs to recharge. That's the feeling here with these two cards, especially. You've got to recharge this week. All right, final oracle card for the week ahead. One card, please. They all seem to be sticking together. It's like, come on now. <laughs> all right. Ah, look at that discernment. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that make sense? It says, see the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows. Okay, how much more in alignment can that be? Right? I said, your body knows. Your intuition uses your body to speak to you. It gives you signals. You know, your nervous system is linked to that energy. Um, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Only you know what you need to do this week, how you need to handle it. I mean, it's I feel like something is being made obvious to you. And it's like, okay, enough's enough. I'm done. I've had it. It says, see the truth of the situation. Use your common sense and don't be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows. 
So if there's anything toxic in your life with the devil uh, energy, if there's any, you know, people that are just stealing your joy or robbing you of your peace in some way, again, do what you got to do. Use your discernment. You have it. Your intuition is speaking loud and clear this week, I think. And that is such a gift when it's made clear to you like that. So don't ignore, right? Don't ignore it. You know what to do. So, all right. Sending you much love, uh, guys. I know if anything, these cards aren't so pleasant, but I think if anything, forewarned is forearmed. So if you connect with this reading in any way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to roll the dice for angel numbers to see if there's an additional messages that the angel numbers can provide to you. Maybe even confirm some of the things I've already said in this reading that happens sometimes or maybe provide you with a message that you need personally. I don't recommend a source because it could be uh, one you don't like. And I never want to imply that one source is better over another. There's many on the internet. I I trust that the universe is going to guide you to the one that speaks to your heart. Trust that one when you find it. Um, and also take the journey to research the numbers for yourself because you may come across other signs, synchronicities, and serendipity that spirit needs you to find. And if I gave you a shortcut, I would rob you of that experience. I don't want that to happen. So that's why I don't give you a number interpretation off the bat. So let's see what number comes up for you for this week. All right, so we have number one. seven and wait hold on here that is a six so 176 is your angel number i'm gonna put that in the screen for you guys so go ahead and look that up see what that number brings to you again if you feel that this reading has helped or connected for you in some way by all means please do let me know in the comment section down below like share subscribe to support this channel maybe check out even my etsy shop i have personal readings there i'm working on putting out uh, merch as well like t-shirts and stuff um that's coming soon i hope to have that out for um for the holiday season um i even have crystal jewelry there that i make by hand on my free time so visit me there if you so wish to support my channel you could even support my channel by becoming a member i have exclusive content and readings that i put out for members only so you can check that out as well much love to you thank you so much for supporting my channel much love and always keep shining